that's what happens when you give an MX-5 driver a fast oh, car. When you give Look a at that. What's going on, guys? Aiden here from DK Tuning, and today the Kurt's garage we have broken the Mini Cooper on the M6 motorway. So. We'll give you updated through the day. What's happening, guys? I'm Aiden from Tuning. We're currently at Castle Coombe, so obviously we've got a range of cars. We have Waz's S3 in the background. We have our Hayabusa uh, Westfield. We have Jake's little Abarth. We have Shay's Mini, uh, Henry's Mini. We also have uh, another Abarth, which I can't remember the owner's name. Uh, sorry. And we also have Alex's Abarth as well. Um, we've done a lot of work on most of these cars throughout all of the years. Uh, so yeah, basically today we're going to give you a walkthrough of the place, uh, a little bit of track footage, uh, some footage of the cars that we've got, some of the beautiful cars that we've, uh, other people have brought as well. Uh, Forge are just over there as well. Um, so we'll be visiting there, standing a bit as well. Okay guys, so obviously we have the Mini behind us. We had a slight problem uh, on the motorway. Uh, anyone anyone want to say? Yeah, yeah. Use my footage drive shaft fell out. So yeah, we had a, a drive shaft uh, fallout, but on the motorway, the uh, guys did uh, fix it with some bolts out of the uh, seats, but they're not actually bolts that hold the harnesses on. Um, they're just ones that just came with the seats anyway, so they don't actually make anything uh, functional. Oh, it stopped. It stopped. It fell off. Dad, we're coming to Castle Con. <laughs> it's going down so good, but drift blue is talking to this. Where am you all? When it's all Jay Remax and Ad Lovell, smoking you all. Smoking wall. Highways in Glim says you've got two hours or it's £150 fine. Jake said. Challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. Push mechanics. Push mechanics. So now the car is fixed and ready to go on trip. Tech. Okay guys, so as you can All see in front, mode. Jake is actually <laughs> oh, <he's laughs> uh, <laughs> I couldn't stand it, man. Parcel taping or masking tape, whatever it is. Um, is it Gorilla tape? Gorilla tape. Yeah. Uh, putting that on the fenders just to stop the stone chips off of the road on the uh, track. Because um, these are actually very nice and we don't want them the chipped anymore. Expensive. Um, yeah, they're really expensive to be honest, yeah. so don't want any more stone chips on them. So this is what we've got to do. At this point we had to take the Hayabusa, the Mini and the S3 round for a sound check before we were allowed to take them on the track. So guys, uh, one of the cars failed on the sound testing, so we took the Mini, uh, the S3 and the Hayabusa to the sound testing. The Hayabusa failed, uh, the others passed, which was quite surprising because we actually thought that the Mini was going to fail uh, because it is a very loud car. Uh, but because the Hayabusa is a bike engine, uh, they have to test it at 7,000 and it failed at that, but at 6,500 uh, it passed so basically they basically said that you can only go up to 6500 revs um it's a bike engine so it goes up to about 12 and we're going to be using all 12. so guys we're all getting the cars ready to go out on track obviously nathan 
um, is taking his S3 out for a couple of laps. Yeah. Got the the GoPros set up and everything. Uh, obviously the higher booster is going out. I've got my GoPro on that as well, and then the Fiat over here is going out. Uh, Henry in his Mini Cooper S uh, Cooper works. I mean. Uh, is going out as well and also me and Jake in the Mini and Ryan's going to be driving the Mini as well. So yeah, an exciting day. So we're going to get some track footage, um, some footage of them going around the track as well afterwards. And On board the Mini. Heavy and braking. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, Henry in the red mini came off the track and we went past it. really well on track actually but as we were coming into the pits this happened Meanwhile, back on track in the Hayabusa with Dan. Well, back at the stand. Okay guys, so we just come back from being out in the Mini. Uh, just a couple of quick repairs. There was a little bit of the front bodywork that came and lodged underneath the uh, car. No, it was already there. Oh, was it? Yeah, that's, just, that's a strip for a... It's a, a strip for what happened. One side had come off. And it's just touching the ground. Took it completely off now. It's okay. TV boots ripped and... Um, Tires got very hot, but they did their job. Uh, we were going round one corner at 120, most of them about 90. Um, went round really well, actually, really, really flat. 
um, some of the cars we couldn't touch. Obviously, the uh, the West Field was absolutely insane. We couldn't even go near that. Uh, the S3 didn't manage too well. Uh, had a little bit of brake fade. Um, so obviously, we'll be looking at upgrade, upgrading the brakes for him because uh, he's also going 500 brake as well. Um, and then uh, Ryan is taking the Mini out afterwards. Uh, we do need to put a little bit more coolant in, as you can see. Uh, the coolant has come out a little bit uh, while we're going around track because um, of the G-forces and stuff. So it's so we've got CV grease everywhere. I've just cleaned it to keep it away from the brake. It's, it's so we're just hearing that the CV boot has just uh, split while we've gone been round, uh, while we've been going round. Um, so it might not go back out on track. Um, but obviously the, the Booster Westy will be back on track. Uh, Henry's car did really well as well. Um, although I think his tyres were letting him down a little bit so he couldn't carry the speed that we were uh, around the corners. But on the straights he was like really, really good as well. So yeah, all round enjoyable experience. So uh, we're going to fix the cars, just make sure everything's all right. And then we're going to go back out at three o'clock. Let's see what the others think of their track experience. So, Nath, uh, how did you get on in your S3? Oh, it was amazing, amazing day. Uh, the S3 was like really surprising how capable it was. Uh, the only thing is, I got standard brakes, so fourth lap came into the chicane, uh, brake fade, um, and the only thing I could do is let off the brakes. Pull the car right and just plant it, and we just slid around the corner uh, in a cloud of smoke. Um, so, yeah, apart from that, it was uh, pretty good. So, some um, big brakes for you next, then. Big yeah. brakes. <laughs> Kids, if you're going to drive on the road, that's fine. If you're going to go on the track, get big brakes, especially when you're pushing like a big part. Is, um, yeah, it was a bit of a hairy moment. But, um, yeah, it was really impressive, the car, actually. Yeah. Over talk about five, six cars. So yeah, it looked pretty pretty swift on track to be fair. Set a few people, sure. Yeah, you overtook us straight away and we couldn't get you back. Yeah. <laughs> Except from when you obviously went off. <laughs> I was going dead easy in the corners up until that point. Yeah. Uh, so obviously like I think it's that straight line speed, you just got so much acceleration. Yeah, that's good. But uh, one thing it should have done was turn the traction off. Yeah. Feel it fighting me. Oh okay, yeah. Would have been a bit That's a, a next next day thing then. I think if I turned the traction off, I would have been in the sidewall though. So. Yeah. Okay. Well, saved you then. Next time. Saved you a couple of pounds. <laughs> All right. Appreciate it. Always. So, Dan driving the Westfield and Henry obviously driving his car. What did you think of the track and what did you think of the car's performance? Just, just, Henry is just a bit slow, really. So it's a bit embarrassing, to be honest. I think he's having, having on the stand. But no, it's good, isn't it? Yeah, I tried to overtake some of them for that about a corner. Uh, ended up in a bush. So. Yeah, I noticed that you took the uh, grass and then we took that massive opportunity to uh, overtake you. Yeah? No, I hope, I hope not. I hope not. Huh? Were, you, were you behind him in front of him? Uh, we were behind. So would you got him on? Play? We would have got it on GoPro. Yes. Yeah. So insert the GoPro footage now of Henry spinning out. From the back of us. Great day. Good, good track, uh, good people. It is a really good track, yeah. Yeah, we've, we've got no excuses really because we've been around it many times now, so we've got no excuse. I've not got an excuse, so I think it's been there. So, how did your uh, Hayabusa perform then? Perfectly. Once the tyres warmed up, it was absolutely great. Um, it just completely stuck and uh, not much really was keeping up with that, to be fair. There was only uh, two cars that were quicker on the, on the whole lap, so. Um, yeah. yeah, and they were. Massive brake horsepower cars as well, weren't they? Yeah, yeah. So, no, it's good fun. We'll go out again in a bit and um, see if we can break some more records. So, Henry, obviously, we're, we're thinking that your tyres may have let you down a little bit. Yes, we might have the mix and parts for fours, but I think, like you were saying, the Nankang AS1, well, AS1, yeah, I think it would have been a better choice. Yeah. Uh, we were really uh, being able to stick it around corners and stuff. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah. Sorry. And I uh, definitely noticed the difference between the R53 still being pretty lightweight and yeah. valuable to the new Mini that's... Yeah, you were pulling away on the straights, you were pulling away, we could see that straight line power and then obviously around the corners we were just right up your, yeah. up your arse as it were. Yeah, down, so. down the straights it's rapid but it's, you know, that's what it is and then yeah, around the corners let us down but we'll, we'll go again and then we'll try yeah. and not spin it maybe. Sound. So we come back to Dan, obviously Alex was actually the passenger in the Hayabusa. Uh, 
What did you reckon to the experience? Absolutely amazing. Completely <laughs> different to being in a normal car, and he's driving something amazing, I don't admit. <laughs> yeah, it's so much fun, so much fun. But shame we couldn't go much faster. But yeah. I thought you were. Um, I thought you were going to be scared at one point, but uh, I think you were a good yeah. passenger. So, it's good that you enjoyed it. It's a quick car as well to go around in your first time as well. Oh gosh, yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. You got sideways a few times in the first few laps. Yeah, but... I did get a bit nervous, I'll admit, a bit, but yeah, after that I was absolutely fine. Yeah, when you're looking straight down the straight and you're like facing the other way, it gets a bit scared. Yeah, well, a little bit sketch slash good. <laughs> it's all good fun, but yeah. overall, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So we fixed the Mini and it was ready to go out and track, and this time we gave it to our new guy, Ryan. Okay guys, so we gave the car to Ryan and now it is missing parts. That's what happens when you give an MX-5 driver a fast that's car. That's what happens when you give Look a fast car to a drifter. Jesus, can't okay, even, so can't so even so trust so him with the I keys to our so own so cars. That's what happens, he crashes it. Well to be fair, he didn't actually crash it, he just uh, hit, the, hit the grass a bit and then obviously that took the uh, bottom lip bit of the spoiler off. So uh, it's just one of them things that happens, isn't it? What's happening guys, so we're back at DK Tuning now. Uh, we had an absolutely mental day, didn't we? Awesome, wasn't it? it was absolutely, absolutely sick. sick yeah. And our customers loved it as well, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think some of them, like the first day out, just like uh, track day and stuff, and yeah, yeah. experiencing the power in their cars. Yeah, like Wazza and then yeah, like, was and the and some of the well. Abarths and stuff was absolutely great. Um, yeah. Great day out. Yeah, yeah, lovely sunshine sick. and everything. Yeah. It was brilliant, wasn't it? It was really good in the Mini. Um, Apart from it blowing up. Yeah, we experienced a couple of problems. So <laughs> it died on the way, as we probably already spoke about. It yeah. died on the way, drive shaft came out, repaired it on the side of the motorway. Got it there, did like 20, 30 laps in it. Mm. And on one of the last laps, um, the other drive shaft decided to just shear off. <laughs> so we had to leave it down there and get it recovered. Get it towed, get it towed, get it towed. Get it towed, get it towed, get it towed. Get it towed. Um, we couldn't bring it back, so, but it's back here now. We've got some new drive shafts. Yeah, fix ready it. for the uh, ready for the next event now. The next one, Basically. Marcus Charles Walsh. If it's on, uh, might have our own little track day again. If it's on, but we have to okay. just play it by ear at the minute. Yeah, and the the higher booster survived the whole day except from yeah. a one little issue with uh, some oil. Yeah, with oil, <laughs> quite a lot of oil was coming out of it at some point. I think I overfilled it when I serviced it. It was but Dan's fault. My fault. Not the mechanic. My fault. fault. I'm not a mechanic, so <laughs> I could probably be working on it. But yeah, that, that performed well. really well throughout the whole day, didn't it? Scared a few people. Yeah, yeah. One of the fastest cars on the track, I think, most of the day. And uh, got a lot of attention as well, guys. We got uh, loads of people coming over to ask what was in it and different stuff as well. Wasn't yeah, it? and it's so gonna be really mental. Good. Hopefully next year it's gonna be running the big turbo kit on the side. Yes. So that would be even crazy. Sound. So. If you did like the video guys, then please do drop a like underneath and subscribe. And if you want any work doing to your cars, then please do let us know. See you in a bit.